Councils are here at the high school to talk to some of the students, many of their friends here. We understand they were very popular boys, and the two boys killed were on the football team and described as kind and dependable. We were talking about summer school. I asked him, was he ready, and was he ready to get started? And he said, yeah, I'm ready. And I asked him, he came in at 8, and that was the last time I saw him. <laughs> Tarana Goins can't believe her 18-year-old son, Derek, is gone, killed in a crash along with one of his best friends, 18-year-old Alex Farr. They played football together at Detroit's Kettering High. Action News also talked to Alex's dad, Fred Farr. Well-respected neighborhood, everybody at church. I'm in church every Sunday. Dependable. We're told 18-year-old Alex Farr was part of the district's special 13-year program for gifted students. So while he graduated with his class just yesterday, in one more year of advanced classes, he would have had his college associate's degree. And last night, Alex had been celebrating with Derek and two other friends, Bill Anthony and Stefan Parrish. But on the way home, we're told Alex somehow lost control of the car and crashed into this building on Detroit's east side. Alex and Derek were both killed. Derek's mom lost another son a few years ago to a hit-and-run driver. Did they ever catch the hit-and-run driver? No, they never caught him. And his birthday, he would be turning 15 this Sunday. So, it's just a lot to go. He didn't hang out with nobody that wasn't going nowhere or that was doing dirt or doing stupid stuff, you know? I don't know if it's out of respect for me or out of respect for himself, but, you know, every time I see him, they were all, hey, how you doing, Mr. Farr? And we're told the two teenagers who survived the crash are now in good condition at Detroit Receiving Hospital, and Detroit police are still investigating the crash. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.